So I'm going to update you a little bit on a power cell that I built. I'm going to say it says on here back in March. Here it is. It was the one cell number two that was created with copper wire and magnesium ribbon. I actually had stuck it in this little battery pack to power some lights. But it seems like it was the only battery that still is making power out of all of these. These were like random things with a loom. Some had glue. Other things in them, yeah, they didn't work too well. But this thing, astonishingly, is still making power. Let's see what kind of power she's making. I think it was 0.9 volts or something like that. So if you can see the multimeter with me in the way here. See, look at that. Another strange thing, too, is I'll uh, go add some heat to it, like Steve always told me to do. And we're just using the heat from a lamp. Now, this thing is completely sealed. Outside of it has fallen apart in the middle, but it has had no water or no moisture added to it outside of the moisture from the air. So we'll give it a few seconds to get hot, and then we'll see what it does, because these crystal cells do uh, increase voltage if you add heat to them. So... Uh, that was kind of a neat thing. Now, this is just light bulb heat. I stuck it up against a lamp of mine. Let's see what it does. It should be over a volt now. There you go. Just a hair over a volt. Now, it won't stay there very long. Uh, it will drop back down and level off about 0.9 of a volt. But I thought that was very interesting. This is my first attempt at a crystal cell battery. I'm not sure how much uh, degradation was done because I had it in a cell and the other cells were robbing power from it. So I'll leave it alone by itself for a few days and see if it won't charge itself back up because that's kind of what these crystal cells I've uh, seen do. Uh, but uh, guys, just want to update you and uh, appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.